forming two digit numbers using bundles of 10 place value. Children, today in this video, we will learn to form two digit numbers using bundles of 10. Children, in the last video, we learned to make groups of tens and write the numbers in tens and ones boxes. Today we will carry forward that topic. Look, here are some jars filled with marbles. Let us count. The first jar has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 marbles. This means that this is one group of 10s. Billy, you count the marbles in the second jar. Yes, ma'am. In the second jar, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 marbles. Yes, that is correct. So, there are 10 and 10, 20, two groups of 10s. Now look, here in the third jar, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 marbles. So, this makes it 10 and 10, 20. 20 and 10, 30. Three groups of tens. Now, Lily, you count the marbles in the fourth jar. In the fourth jar, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten marbles. Absolutely right. So these are ten and ten, twenty. Twenty and ten, thirty. 30 and 10, 40. Four groups of 10s. This fifth jar also has 10 marbles. This makes it 10 and 10, 20. 20 and 10, 30. 30 and 10, 40. 40 and 10, 50. Five groups of 10s. Look, the sixth jar also has 10 marbles. This makes it 10 and 10, 20. 20 and 10, 30, 30 and 10, 40, 40 and 10, 50, 50 and 10, 60. So, these are 6 groups of 10s. Now, you tell me Lily, how many groups of 10s do we have? We have 6 groups of 10 marbles each. That's right. This is why we will write 6 in the tens box here. Now, you tell me, Billy, how many marbles are there in the seventh jar? Ma'am, the seventh jar is empty. Yes, there is not even one marble in the seventh jar. So, we have to write zero in the ones box. Now, we have six in the tens box which means 60 and 0 in the 1's box which means there is not even one marble there. So, there are 60 marbles in total. Understood children? A group of 10 objects is called one group of 10's. Similarly, whatever is the number of groups you have, you have to write that number in the tens box. And when there is not even one object in the group, you have to write zero in the ones box. We, we understood. understood. Now look, in this empty seven jar, I am putting some marbles in it. Now tell me Lily, how many marbles are there in total? Here in the first six jars, there are groups of ten marbles each. That means there are 6 groups of 10 marbles each. That is why in the tens box, we have to write 6. Well done, Lily. Now in the 7 jar, we have put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
6, 7 and 8 marbles. So, in the 1's box, we have to write 8. Well done, Billy. But my question was, how many marbles are there in total? Here, in the 10's box, there is 6, which means 60 marbles. And in the 1's box, there is 8. That means there are 8 marbles. That is why there are 60 and 8, 68 marbles in total. Yes, well done. Now look children, I will teach you how to expand 68 into 2 parts. 68 has 6 tens and 8 ones. So 6 tens means we have to write 60 and 8 ones means we have to write 8 here. Come on Billy, now try to expand and tell the numbers written here on the board. 28 has 2 tens and 8 ones. So 28's expansion is 20 and 8. Very good children. Now see you in the next class. Children, in this video, you learn to expand 2 digit numbers and write it in boxes of tens and ones. In the next video, through examples, we will learn how to expand two digit numbers and understand it well. Children, in this video, we will learn to form two digit numbers using bundles through some interesting examples. Children, in the last class you had learnt to form numbers in the groups of tens. Yes, ma'am. Let us see through some examples how much you remember. Look, there is an abacus given here. You have to look at it and form a number. Lily, you tell us. In the abacus given here, in the tens box there are one, two, three, 4, 5, 6 and 7 beads. So in the tens box, we have to write 7. Very good. Now, in the ones box, in the abacus, there are 1, 2 and 3 beads. So in the ones box, we have to write 3. Well done. Now here, in the tens box, 7 tens means 70. And in the ones box, three ones means three. So adding seventy and three makes it number seventy-three. Absolutely correct. Now how will you expand seventy-three into two parts? Seventy-three means seven tens and three ones. Meaning its two parts will be seventy and three. Well done. Now let us look at the second example. Look, Billy. Here we have to count one small block as one. Now tell me, what number do all these blocks represent? Here in the first big block, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 small blocks means there is one tens. Well done, Billy. Similarly, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 groups of 10 blocks each. So, 6 tens make 60. Now, there are 2 small blocks which means there are 2 ones. Very good. Now, adding 2 to 60, here we have 60 and 2 giving us number 62. Now, how will you expand 62 into 2 parts? 62 means 6 tens and 2 ones. That means the two parts will be 60 and 2. Absolutely right, Billy. Children, you saw Lily Billy form two digit numbers with the help of abacus and blocks. In the next video, we will understand some interesting facts about forming two digit numbers with the help of bundles of tens.
children today we will learn interesting facts about forming two digit numbers using bundles place value children can you make bundles of tens out of these 43 ice cream sticks but ma'am these are 43 ice cream sticks how can we make bundles of tens out of these let me explain there are 43 ice cream sticks first of all make one bundle of tens out of them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 here is one bundle of tens come on billy now make the second bundle of tens from the remaining sticks 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 and 10 this is the second bundle of tens now form the remaining bundles 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 10 10 and 10. look we made a third bundle of tens also lily now you say whether you can make another bundle of tens from the remaining sticks or not yes ma'am 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 ma'am this has also become a bundle of 10 good now we have four bundles of tens who will count further i will count 1 2 and 3 here is the fifth bundle of tens hey billy what is this bundles of tens means that group must have 10 objects here there are only 3 sticks so we cannot make a bundle of 10 with them it means that to make a bundle of tens a total of 10 objects are to be kept in one group together yes how many groups of tens are there There are four groups of tens, meaning four tens. Four tens means forty. Now, besides the bundles of tens, how many sticks are left? There are three sticks left. Adding one, two, and three to forty makes forty-three. Children, remember a group of tens mean a group of ten objects. Yes, ma'am. children today we learned interesting facts about forming two digit numbers using bundles of tens in the next video we will learn adding numbers through grouping